All right, so this is getting a little bit morbid, and uh, we need to do something about it. We got dead babies all over the base. They just keep hatching by themselves and then dying because I'm not picking them up fast enough, and I'm not claiming the babies because I don't want the babies. So they just they, they just keep dying around the base. So we need to do something about this today. We we need to go out and we need to start working on getting a Hesperornis so we can start working on getting a bunch of golden eggs and get an Overraptor that can actually collect these eggs. And we we conveniently have an Overraptor that kind of trapped itself at our house. Um, where, th there it is, right there. So as long as this thing doesn't despawn, uh, it just kind of got itself trapped in between the house over here. I would assume that it just ran down off the mountain, which is something that I've kind of been fearing something worse would do. I mean, it has a very narrow gap. It would literally have to come straight off the mountain up there. But yeah, it, it just uh, got itself trapped down there. He's just chilling. Just chilling. Big chilling right there. So as long as he stays down there, we're good to go. Well, I, I'm completely happy with that. But, yeah, I, I need to do something because I keep losing a bunch of turtle eggs, which is the one, the, they're the ones that I need the most. Uh, we have quite a few, but we don't have enough to get two stegos. I'm most likely going to need more than two stegos just so that we can start breeding mutations quicker. Uh, j just to get as many as we can as fast as we can. So, that that is what we're going to be planning on doing today. First, I need to get some stuff to build a trap in case we find the Hesperornis. And I'd also like to build a smithy while we're at it. Because I think that we have it unlocked, if I remember correctly. We hit the level we needed for it. Uh, smithy. Yep, right there. Perfect. Uh, I don't even have enough for that. I actually need to make the uh, refining forge first. Um, pull for that. And what do we need? What are we missing? We're missing wood. Uh, we just, like, over... Come encumbered ourselves, like, horribly. Um, let's go ahead and just drop that back into here because apparently I don't have any wood and that's what we're going to need for this trap so we're going to go grab wood real quick and then we'll be back so we're going to go grab wood real quick and then we'll be back oh, well we have a turkey right next to base um I'm not going to try to fight it I have the, the, the event active but we're probably not going to be doing the event this time around just because I, I don't have I don't have anything to fight these guys with. I don't think the trike will be able to take it. I don't think it'll be able to do enough damage. So it's active just because I wanted to see what it was all about and see how it worked. And see all the new stuff that they had whenever I finally get a smithy made. But uh, odds are we're not going to be actually partaking in the event this time around. And I'm not really sure about the Winter Wonderland either because the big the big like draw to that is uh, the uh, Raptor Claws. And I don't know that he spawns if we don't have the loot drops turned on. I don't know how that's going to work. So odds are we're probably not going to be partaking in that as well. Um, on top of that, we did get some trikes bred up. And the one that I'm riding currently is actually a full stat from from all of the high stats we got we got weight we got stamina we got health and melee all maxed out we also got a hundred percent imprint which was super nice we're almost a four thousand health just right off the rip and over 300 damage i don't know that i've even attacked anything on this thing yet i think i just raised it up and and got it ready to go and that's pretty much all we've done but we are going to be trying it out today, so that, that's exciting. Oh, we got turtles mating again. Hell yeah. So let's go ahead. Let's do a refining forge first. Pull. Make that guy. All right. And let's go ahead and drop this down. I guess we can put it... Oh, where are we going to put this at? I guess we could put it like... Wait, do we have an opening over here? I guess we could put it like right here. Um, we could do it right there. And then we'll drop half the wood in here. And I should have quite a bit of metal actually saved up for this. There we go. 32 metal, which is perfect. <laughs> I usually don't have any metal by the time we're getting to this point. 
but with how slow everything's been going in this series, I actually have metal, which is which is super nice. Uh, does this actually have the? No, it does not. See, I don't understand why they put for like the cooking. It actually shows you how long you have until it's finished cooking, but they didn't put it on anything else. It's really, really annoying. I wish they would have just put that in there. So while that's doing its metal thing, we're going to go ahead and make up our trap here, which we're going to need fence foundation. Uh, we're going to need four of those. So we'll do four. Nope, four. Can we just do four? Thank you. And then we're going to need four fences. Uh, I think it's a railing. Yeah, there it is. Railing. We're going to need four of those. Railings. I don't know if that's going to even get me all I need. No, it's going to get me literally one of what I need. We'll just go grab more wood real quick, and we'll do this on the fly. Uh, I got everything else I need for it, which is perfectly fine. And by the time we get back, the metal should all be smelted up, and we'll be good to go to get the, the, uh, the smithy going. I literally walked right back, and this is what I'm talking about. By the time it took me to do my stuff in there, get out here, I literally, I, I didn't even get far on the track. The track is right there. That's as far as I walked on it, and then I remembered I had to grab the turtle egg. It's already hatched. And this is the problem that we're dealing with. This this is why we need to get this freaking over raptor done. Is that one there? Please be a female. Thank God. <laughs> We finally found a female. Um, so we had a uh, strange turn of events. Um, I found a female Hesperornis, and while I was getting ready to like set everything up, I, I was getting the trap ready to go, and I had to step away. And when I stepped away, apparently I didn't pause the game. And a fairy attacked, and it ended up killing me and my Hespero or not my Hesperornis. Well, I guess it did kill the Hesperornis too, but it killed my Ichthyornis. So I had to go tame up another one in between this, and it took forever. I wasn't trying to find a high level. I, I just I found another. I think I've, I I think the first one was a level ten. This one was level ten. So we got another level ten. Um, honestly, I kind of like the colors on this one more though. It it, it looks much prettier. So, I'm not necessarily upset about it, but at the same time, I kind of am because it just, it really set me back on getting this stuff done. But, we finally found another one. Um, luckily, the Triceratops was on neutral, and the Triceratops was able to kill the theory. It wasn't a very strong theory, so... Yeah, it, it, it was just, it was more of a um, let down to come back to to see that I had died and to see that I lost my Ichthyornis. I would have been fine if I just died and the Ichthyornis didn't, but the fact that I lost it, it, it was just such a pain. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this goes smoothly here. We're just gonna, we, we gotta keep this guy aggroed into our trap. Almost there. A little farther, bud. And technically, I could do this without the uh, Ichthyornis. It's just an enormous pain in the ass because I have to actually go in the water to get the fish, which has piranhas that are constantly spawning in. So uh, I I'd rather not have to do that if I don't have to. So let's go ahead, turn you off. Um, oh, okay. Let's try that again. Um, we need to turn you on. How do I do this? Hunt and retrieve. Okay. So we got him on hunt and retrieve. All we should have to do now is throw him out and then whistle him to aggressive. And he should start grabbing fish. All right. So we got him killing stuff. Brings it back to us. And then we just kind of have to wait over here. Grab that, drop it down right here, hop over the fence, we can grab, nope, Are you kidding me, get out of here, alright, no, we just gotta wait for him to stop being pissed, there we go, just like that, 
So, that's essentially all we have to do. Um, this is going to take ages. As you can see, I got 2% off that first one. Um, saber tooth salmon are the best for this, but getting the saber tooth salmon aren't always the easiest. Uh, because it's kind of just a guessing game on what they're actually going to bring up to me. So, let's go over here. Have you drop it as close to the, uh, the bar as I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab that one or not. No, I'm not. Okay, hop over. Oh, we got another saber tooth. Sweet. Okay, so drop it. Hop over. Pick it up. No, you're not eating that yet, bud. Chill out. And we just got to get it perfectly aligned here. Um, Maybe. There we go. Just like that. Oh my god, that is a big one there. Um, can we grab that from here? No, we cannot. Alright. Let's go ahead and just drop this one, like, right there. Okay. No, 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 whistle passive. Nope, we're not attacking. It attacked him. Oh my god. Alright. There it is. Oh my god. I thought it was going to take one more. I actually, I have two more fish just sitting here waiting for me. So that, that actually worked out perfectly. Oh my god, this took forever to, ta to, to tame. This is, this was such a pain in the ass. So yeah, this uh, th this was a much more daunting task than I was expecting. Just just for the simple fact that I had to redo another tame that was kind of annoying. Um, it, it honestly it went a little bit better this time though. I, I got it like in two bolas, so it wasn't as bad this time around. But it was still kind of a pain in the ass. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we're just gonna head back to the boat. Um, straight down the, the, uh, the beach here. And, oh my god, what is that? Uh, the Carno, okay. We're just gonna cross the water now. I I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I just want to get back to base. I, I just want to get back to base with these guys. I want to drop off this. Oh, there's a piranha. I want to drop off this this uh, Ichthyornis so that I don't ever have to deal with it again. Is that a saber tooth right there? There is no way that is a saber tooth salmon. Oh my god! A 3.1? Where was the? It was literally right down the beach from me. Just imagine how much that would have given me. That thing is enormous. Oh my god! Is that like the max size? I feel like it has to be. That thing is so big. I've never seen one that big. Wow. Well, that's cool. Oh, there's a Rex right there too. Oh, level 30. Do you think we can take on a Rex? Let's uh, let's find out. Let's find out. I'm gonna go ahead and whistle you to stop following. Th this golly's telling me no. He he's telling me to stay back. He's holding me back right now. Look, he's trying to catch up now. He's like, he he's he's trying to stop me. Actually, we might be able to just get through this. Um, should I fight him? We're we're just gonna fight him. We're just gonna fight him. might be really dumb if it happens to kill me then I'm gonna lose this as no I'm not fighting him no I'm gonna fight him we're gonna fight him as soon as I get my stamina back this dude's dead <clears throat> okay well you know what we're just not gonna fight him <laughs> oh my god literally everything is holding me back from him I'm going to go ahead and say that we're just not meant to fight him. 
So we are finally pulling up to the house. And through all of that, I, I, I got a level at some point. I don't even know when I got it. I just realized it on my way back. <laughs> I was so preoccupied. I did not even realize that I had gotten a level. Uh, let's get you inside really quick. Have you stop following. Throw the duck down. Put our level in. Let's go ahead and do... I'm going to do fortitude again. Just because just cause we need to get that. And then, before we do anything else, I want to go ahead and get this... Have you stopped following? I'm going to go in and get this smithy made up because we should have... Yes, we have the metal that we need now. So let's go ahead and pull that metal out. And then we probably don't even have the wood that we need anymore, do we? Um, let's try smithy. And pull for a one. Yep, we're missing the wood still. So we're going to have to go grab wood real quick. All right, and there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and disable the snapping. And then we're just going to put it right next to here. Perfect. Uh, it's kind of sticking through the wall, but it's fine. I I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not really gonna be upset about it. So we do have a new mod. Um, it's gonna be going alongside the storage plus because the storage plus I think still has its uses. But we have a visual storage mod, which we can actually build uh, bins for different things. So like, oh my gosh, this is actually th these are actually pretty expensive. I didn't realize they were gonna be so expensive. But that's perfectly fine. It's it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, they actually show how full they are of the specific thing that goes in them. So we have one for fiber, one for thatch, one for stone, uh, metal ore, obsidian, crystal, and wood, which is super cool. I, I think it's a great um, idea for a mod. And these are the types of things that I try to look for. Something that's not going to absolutely break the game, but it, it makes it more like aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's also going to help with organization around the base and with how expensive they are. I I'm perfectly fine with You know, I th th they're not gonna They're not gonna break the game, so it's perfectly fine, but we do have enough for a metal hatchet at least um, let's go ahead and pull everything for that and then we'll pull everything for that Oh, did not mean to do that we pull we do we have enough for both of them sweet so we finally are moving on to our metal tool what is this adventure nine now i think nine nine in and we're finally getting to our metal tools <laughs> uh, what else did we unlock i forgot the i forgot to check when we leveled up oh we actually got our trank arrows finally that's huge all right, that is that is perfect. We finally got the trank arrows, so we can start making trank arrows. We can actually start knocking things out with trank arrows. See, everything's finally coming along. Um, we got our female Hesperornis. We, we can go ahead. We can start getting golden eggs. And once we get the golden eggs, we got more babies hatching that we won't have to deal with. We got a baby under each of them. and <sighs> Such a pain. Such a pain. Um... <laughs> They, they just, they hatch so quickly. Uh, we do have three eggs in here, though, which is nice. We're going to need those for, I think, raptors. Um, but we're, we're one step closer to getting this, this over raptor. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start working on getting these golden eggs. And essentially, all we have to do is get in the water and actually, I'm going to take the track over here. Just in case we run into piranhas, um... We're, we're going to take the trike over here. We're going to kill fish with the Hesperornis. It's going to walk out of the water. It's going to drop eggs. And every once in a while, it will have a chance to drop a golden egg. And that is exactly what we need. I think we need two of them. But we might go for three if we can.
Oh my god, finally. Um, this is like the fourth one that we've dropped. Um, not, not, not golden egg, but fourth egg that we've dropped, and we finally got a golden egg. This took so long. Uh, this was our first golden egg. We've been out here for a better part of a day trying to get this. Just killing fish and eating them and waiting for a, 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 an egg to drop. I think I actually had to eat two of my other eggs. Uh, oh no, so that would make five because I've eaten two of these. So yeah, th this is uh, this is six, five, six, somewhere in there. It, it's between four and six. I don't really know. Um, it might have been completely different eggs that I ate. But we finally got the we finally got the golden egg. That, that's 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 my point here is that we finally got this golden egg. I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos on the side, just waiting for this thing to drop because it takes so long in between these. But we finally got it. Um, I was also incorrect on how many we need. I was looking at a 150 OV Raptor, which is gonna require two. This 90 should only require one, so we're gonna we're gonna gamble on this because of how long this one took, and because we don't really have like a uh oh gosh what's it called we don't have a refrigerator or i don't think we even have a preserving bin yet um th this was this was um an attempt at trying to trap the turkey to see if we could actually do it while i was waiting <laughs> it it turned out very poorly um <laughs> that that's besides the fact though um we should only need one golden egg for this over raptor that we have trapped behind the house so long as it's still there hopefully it is but we're gonna risk it and we're just gonna kind of throw a few other extra eggs in to see if it doesn't finish if it will finish off the other eggs because it should bring it pretty close to finishing at the very least so there's a trilobite pull this out i want to try to get him out of this little corner that he's in real quick if possible <laughs> go well he might actually be stuck in this corner so take it nice and slow on him there we go he's out Perfect. So now, um, let's go ahead and just drop the golden egg in along with all of these. I kind of just grabbed a huge variety of crap that they can eat. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't just wake up and eat like everything in its inventory. There we go. One and done. Just like that. Perfect. Wow, that could not have worked any better all right so we got a 134 over raptor uh 134 weight which isn't super great and 257.1 melee damage those are going to be the two that we're looking at i'm pretty sure the melee damage extends the range that they can be used and then the weight is obviously going to be for uh carrying the eggs so weight is probably what we're going to be pumping on this guy just so that we can carry more at one time here's the problem can we get you out um let's go ahead and let's pop this one shouldn't be i was gonna say there shouldn't be anything on the other side of this but can you get out you can not <clears throat> all right we're gonna need to get a uh ramp over here all right so now that we got this um let's see what is this this is a wood roof which is exactly what we want uh just because they're steeper and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this, instead of making this a wall here, we're just gonna go ahead and make this a doorway. Um, just just for the simple fact of, we might have to get back here again. Might as well just keep it open. Uh, I can put doorways in it if need be. If this thing wants to come out, hello. Hey bud, turn around. They, whoa, okay. Chill out there, chill out there big guy. Um, are we gonna be able to get through this door? I sh you should be able to, right? Really? You can't you can't make it through this door? Really? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go ahead and just remove this one. Remove wall. This guy. He is currently on collecting both unfertilized and uh, fertilized eggs. Which is exactly what we want. 
Um, is he? I think he might have to be on Wander, which means we're gonna. Oh man, how is that gonna work? We might have to. We might have to cage him in a. It, like just get a little cage for him going. Uh, just for the simple fact that I don't want him wandering into the spikes or wandering out of the base. So, <laughs> he might have been better off in the corner. Um, nope, that's the wrong one. We'll grab these guys back out. And you went from a really confined space to an even more confined space. But this way you can at least look at everybody else who has, you know, a life around you. So, that that's, that's exciting at least, right? Like that's 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 better than what you were dealing with. So let's get you to follow. All right, we might have to just punch him in there. Um, how much health do you have? Eight, twelve. Okay. Sorry, bud. You're just you're not working out the way I need you to. So. <laughs> And then one, and two, and three. And then we should be able to access behavior, enable wandering. And now he should be able to wander freely. Um, can you eat these? Or do you eat meat? Okay, he eats he eats meat. That, that's good to know. He eats meat. We're going to have to get some special meat for him. Uh, j just for the simple fact that I don't want him eating the eggs, and I'm pretty sure if he gets hungry enough, he will eat the eggs. He will indeed eat them. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Who all is being affected right now? Everything but the trikes are being affected. So the trikes are slightly out of range, which is a bit of a problem. We need them to be in range, actually. We might swap out the parasaurs and the trikes, get the trikes in here breeding, and then put the uh, parasaurs out here. Just because we don't necessarily need the parasaurs anymore, um, th they're kind of rendered useless now. Uh, I, I don't necessarily need their kibble, and the trikes are a much better mount overall. So, yeah, we, we might be swapping those out. Honestly, we might just leave the trikes out here and pick the eggs up, because the eggs... Oh, I guess they are hatching now. They weren't hatching before. I, it was cold enough. Um, I guess I guess that's changed, though. So, that kind of sucks. Oh well, that one's dead. <laughs> that one's dead. <laughs> All right, this is this is why we got to get this stuff taken care of. This this reason right here. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get these swapped around, and uh, that's gonna bring us to the end of the adventure today. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is very dark, and I apologize for that. Um, this this just took a lot longer than I was expecting. It was just it was one headache after the other. This is the probably the most scuffed adventure we've gone on so far. So <laughs> I mean. They usually all turn out that way, it's ARC, but this one was like extra scuffed just from the start. So, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.